fallout from the proposed closure of News Hub and restructure of Warner Brothers Discovery is rippling across the wider TV industry. Locally produced hit shows like The Block and Married at First Sight are in jeopardy. Business correspondent Simon Shepherd reports. There were tears first thing this morning. You've likely seen the news by now that our company has proposed to shut down News Hub from June. Some people have been asking, does that affect AM too? And AM and News Hub are one and the same. While the shock is still sinking in, Warner Brother Discovery's restructure is also rippling through the wider TV production industry. Local TV hits like Married at First Sight, The Block and The Traitors are at risk because WBD will no longer fully fund them. Which is problematic for the industry because they are well-loved shows, well-viewed and they employ a lot of people across the whole sector. So that's a problem for, for local production. WBD does get NZ On Air funding for other programs like News Hub Nation. It currently has $30 million paid or promised for various programs. We're going to honour all of our commitments um, and we will still continue to work with New Zealand On Air and other funding partners to fund shows wherever possible that will continue. But it's not enough. This is just going to apply more pressure on a budget that isn't growing from their side. There's no growth in that from government. WBD says it told the government last December it was in trouble asked for a cut in Cordia transmission fees as a partial help. And the advice that I have actually got was that it was not something that we should be doing to uh, provide one-off um, relief to uh, Warner Brothers, which was an overseas-owned company. The biggest problem is a $100 million drop in advertising revenue because of the move to streamers like Netflix. One answer being proposed is a revamp of the old Broadcasting Act to force streaming companies to make local content. And one of the things that I am actually focusing on is, uh, and which people have actually asked for, is the Broadcasting Act um, a review. It's shocking that an event like this should bring, you know, bring unity to the sector to start talking about these things. Another production company, Great Southern Television, says New Zealand doesn't have the clout to force streaming giants to do that. Instead, the production sector has to be extra creative. So the impact is that there'll be a different way of funding shows. Uh, we're a very creative industry. We'll have to think creatively. Uh, Three Now is still going to be in the content creation industry, and therefore there is some optimism. Perhaps not for the 300 staff who might be affected by the cuts. Also, Simon, News Hub is set to close. What about the actual Channel 3 on your remote? Oh, well, Sam, if you managed to fish the remote out from the back of the couch and press that number three on it, yes, there will still be a TV channel there. Under these proposals, of course, there will be no news. What shows will be on it and how they're paid for, the network is still working that out. It's all about the bottom line, and we should note that in financial year 2022, WBD booked a loss of $35 million. And management told me today that even if these cuts do go ahead, there's no guarantee the network will break even. OK, Simon, tēnā koe.